question nine on paper two, part A, they want you to get the area of, no, so they tell you the area of an equilateral triangle. So 60, 60, 60, is nine root three centimeters squared. Find the length of each side. Well, if they've given me the area, I can either use half base by perpendicular height, but I don't have the base, I know it's perpendicular height, too much stuff missing. I could go half A, B, sine C. Well, if I call that X, I can also call that X. So half X by X by the sine of 60 is 9 root 3. And I only have one thing missing there. So that is half of X squared by the sine of 60, which is 3 over 2. Is equal to 9 root 3 um, and then you just work it out multiply across by 2 well, well first we'll multiply this out I end up at root 3 x squared on the top all over 4 on the bottom is equal to 9 root 3 multiply across by 4 and you end up with root 3 times x squared is equal to 36 times root 3 divide by root 3 x squared is equal to 36 x is equal to plus or minus 6, but in this situation it could be a plus 6 as length is always a plus. So we have 6 centimetres. Um, part 2, find the area of the largest circle that fits in the triangle. I need to leave your answer in terms of pi. So the largest circle that will fit into it right, that's your in circle. How do you get your in circle? You need to Bisect your sides, or your sorry, your angles, which means that's thirty. Um, if you're bisecting them, here you actually end up with this is three because you have um, uh, here we have a. An isosceles triangle, so this part here is 3, and that means I use tan to find or because the tan of 30, okay. so the tan of 30 is equal to opposite over adjacent, tan of 30 is root 3 over 3 equal to r over 3, which means r is equal to root 3. Um, they didn't want r, they wanted the area of the circle. So that's pi times r squared, which is equal to 3 pi centimetres squared. As I said, I could leave it in terms of pi. Um, a circle, so then we're on to line part B. They gave me a diagram. And they said that the centre of my circle is O, has a radius of 90. And as shown, okay, so that's 90. So the chord going from A to B. And this radius here intersects the chord. Now, I should know from our rules of geometry that if it intersects the chord, it's bisecting it. Um, and they told me that O to M is 30. They want me to find the length of AB and I can leave it in third form. Well, I could use Pythagoras' theorem just to find um, now again, that right angle is something that I know from my geometry there, this right angle here, because of the radius bisecting at the chord, it means that's a right angle. So I have Pythagoras' theorem here, so I have 90 squared is equal to 30 squared plus x squared. That gives me 100, no, 8,100 is equal to 900 
plus x squared, bring it over, it becomes a minus 7200 is equal to x squared. So x is equal to the square root of that, which you throw into your calculator, you get 60 root 2. Now that's, I've only found the length of a to m. If I want the length of a to b, I need to double that because like I said, it's bisected just the quart. So it's two times that. So the length of a b is twice the 60 root 2, which is 120 root 2 centimeters. And they told me that I could leave it in third form. So that's b part one. Uh, B part two, they want me to find the angle AOB, A to O to B. So again, I might just work with the small triangle. All right, I might work with the small triangle here, maybe, or this one, it doesn't matter, and find this angle. Um, I could use cos in this situation because I have my right angle triangle and this is the adjacent, is 30. This is the hypotenuse, which is 90, so the cos of the angle AOM is equal to opposite, no, adjacent over hypotenuse. So the cos of the angle AOM is equal to a third there. And so inverse cos of a third gives me that the angle AOM is equal to 70.5278779 degrees but I'm not looking for AOM I'm looking for AOB that's twice it um, so I need to multiply it by two I have isosceles triangles up here you know if you want to you could use you could pr prove that there are isosceles using congruency that's the same as that side there's a common side and there's a, they're the same as each other because the rule that I bisect the chord if uh, a radius goes through it. Um, so I definitely know that that is the exact same size as this. So I'm just going to double it to find the angle AOB, which is what they asked for in the question. And when you double it, they said you can give your answer to you some places. It's 141.06 degrees. Uh, the second way to do that could use the cosine rule and you'd end up with the exact same answer anyway. Um, hence find the area of the shaded region correct to the nearest centimetre. So they've shaded in all this. So a couple of ways to do it. Probably the shortest way to do it is to get the area of the sector of this circle here. Okay, if you want the area of the circle, you go to your log tables. If you want the area of the sector of the circle, you also go to your log tables. Uh, and you get your formula, it's theta over 360, if you're in degrees, times pi r squared. And we're going to work this out. Theta, we've just worked out to be 141. So that is 141.06 all over 360, multiplied by pi times the radius. We know to be 90, because I told us at the start, squared. And so if you just throw that into your calculator, you end up with... 9,970.9343843. That's the area, the full sector. I need to get rid of the area of the triangle here. So I just can go half base by perpendicular height. Sorry. I need to get rid of this triangle here if I just want the shaded area, because what I just found is the area of the sector of that circle there. So half base by perpendicular height or half AB sine C. I should probably have a lot of information here. So uh, if we just go half the base, the base I just found out earlier on to be 120 times root two by the perpendicular height, uh, which they told me was 30 earlier on in the question. And that gives me 2,000. 545.584412 and I'm just going to subtract these two here and when I subtract them I end up with 4725.359 and so on but they actually told me to round off to the nearest centimetre squared so that's just 7425 
centimeter squared.